Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Connie and this channel is all about plants. So in today's video, I'm going to take you guys along with me to the Yellow Green Farmer's Market. It's located in Hollywood, Florida. They have quite a few plant vendors, so I'm excited to see what all they have. So let's get going. Okay, there looks like there's a plant stand already over here. So let's check this one out. FloridaBloom.com. Let's see what they have here. They got some fiddly figs. Bunch of stuff over here. Some Monstera Deliciosas. Orchids. Watermelon Peperomia. Some Calatheas down here. Let's see what these Diefenbachias are going for. So he was telling me that these are mixed up. Two for 20 or some of them are $12. They have some Rifidophora tetraspermas down there too. Some hibiscus. They got some eucalyptus over here, some Jamaican food. So that's the inside entrance, but I'm going to go check over here. There's a lot of food vendors outside. They have a juice bar over here. This looks really good. And here they have another plant vendor. Let's check this one out. This is K and K Natural Garden. This is Kathy right here. She's so nice. I met her yesterday. I didn't even know she was a plant vendor, but this is such a really nice setup that she has here. So she has a lot of four inch plants here. She has this um, Euphorbia, I forgot exactly. It's a white ghost or something. I'll put the name on the screen. They have some variegated Hindu rope. Look how cute this little Hilo Beauty is. This four inch pot, so cute. She also has some variegated Syngonium Albo. Aglaonema. They got some handbags over here. All right, so I'm gonna go in through this side over here because I did see another plant vendor on this side. And there's a few more inside also. So. Okay, here's a plant booth right here. They have a lot of bonsais over here on this table. Ficus Audrey, Alocasia Lauderbachiana. A little bit of everything. A bunch of Calatheas here. Oh, look at this. Is this cool? Some orchids. Money tree. Oh, what is this? Some kind of alocasia or something? This is really nice. Let me see if this has a name. There's an alocasia fried egg. And some bamboo. 
We have an Aglaonema down here. Alocasia Maharani. Got some Syndapsis Pictus Exotica. Really nice. So this looks really beautiful. It's called Elmer Design Plants and Handcrafted Designs. This is very beautiful how he has this set up. Lots of bougainvilleas, a little bit of everything. Look at this big Monstera Deliciosa. Wow, he has a lot of plants over here. They have some, looks like pearls and jade, pothos. Lots of caladiums. This is a uh, philodendron burl marks. Okay, so in the back, there's this big tiki hut. I guess you can come over here, chill out, eat something. Looks like they have a plant vendor in the back here. So I'm gonna check them out. Yeah, back there. So this one is called Golden Garden Design. Really cute. Got some larger plants here. Fiddly figs, alocasias. They have these little Alocasia Tiny Dancers, $20. Oh, I love these elephants. Then they have some larger plants back here. They have some really large pots, some hanging baskets of Monstera Adansonii's. Very nice. So these balls right here are concrete with fiberglass and the owner, her father actually makes these. And she said he also makes those elephants, which are really cool. I love those. And these balls are very modern. They have orchids here, Flores and El Mar. So the name of this booth is Exotic Garden and I wish you could hear the excitement in my voice as I was filming this because this was a really nice booth and she had some amazing plants at great prices. I think this is actually a Hoya Verticulata Parasitica but it's only $15 and it comes with this ceramic pot. She also has other Hoyas here but check out this Hoya Croniana Silver Splash. Only $17 and it comes with this nice modern ceramic planter. And on the top here, she has some Cebu Blue Pothos Baskets. I think those were $17. And below, she had a uh, Albo Panatum for only $22. It came inside of a little clay pot. Also, here's a Piper Crocatum for only $12. 
Some peperomias, also $12. She had a whale fin Sansevieria for only $14. Also, here is, I think, a 10-inch Philodendron Florida Beauty for only $34. Super full. She had some driftwood, eucalyptus. Here's a silver sword Philodendron. Also, some more Epipremnum Panatum Albos for $17. Here's one for 21, but it came in a ceramic bowl. She also had some Ficus Elastica Shiverianas for only $18. Here's a Hoya Pubicalix basket for 19. Also Hoya Compacta baskets for 23. And she also has some string of hooks. I think those are really full. She also had some aglanemas. Raphidophora decursivas, $18. Guys, she also had these Epipremnum panatum variegatas for only $29. And this one had larger leaves, but the other one had more variegation and also lots of new growth on the top. So I'm here just trying to decide between the two because as you may know, this was one of my 2023 wishlist plants. So yeah, I'm here just scoping these two out and trying to make a decision. Let me know in the comments which one you would have chosen, the one with more variegation or the one with the larger leaves here on the right. So this is actually a bunch of plants that she had overstock of. So if you're planning on going to the farmer's market and you see anything here that you want and it's not at her kiosk, just ask her if she has what you're looking for and she'll happily get it for you. Here she has some lipstick plants. She also had some Pink Princess Philodendrons for $29. Some Ficus Elastica Tanikis and also some Monstera Perus. So moving on, over by the fresh produce section, they had some Philodendron Brazils for only $17 in hanging baskets. Here's another plant vendor here called Love and Thorn. They had a really cute booth with a variety of different plants. They had some succulents that they had a promotion going on at the time for. They also had some money trees, calatheas. I also saw some air plants and lots of really unique plant pots. This booth is called Tropical Co-Art and they had a lot of artwork with moss and they also had some candles as well as homemade soaps and other types of fragrances.
Okay, it looks like another plant shop here. Let's check this one out. It's called Lucky Bamboo for you. So let's check this one out. They got a nice setup over here too. Lots of good stuff. They have some Hoya compactas and hanging baskets. Some lavender, eucalyptus. Got some little pink princess over here. Elo beauties, money trees, anthurium. They also have some Alocasia Tiny Dancers over there in four inch pots. Some pitcher plants and hanging baskets. Uh, Sundews, I have Capices, Spongelana, Florida Filiformis, and the Banata. The Banatas are like the fork. Okay. And of course, these are your Saracenias here. The large ones, and I also have a smaller one if you want to start from scratch. Okay, but there, what is this one right here? Now, this is your um, pinnacular, that's your spatula, your not spatula, it's your pinnacular butterworth. 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 How much yeah. is that? Now, this one's $12. Well, something that's really different. And I'm going to see it in a This one. Eyelash fern? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it does look like a palm. Okay, here's another planty booth, but I wasn't able to get the name of it. They had a mixture of house plants and other really unique items like artwork with moss. Here they had a really large Diefenbachia panther. Also this tall Raphidophora tetrasperma. And you can see here all of their really nice artwork with moss. They had a large fiddle leaf fig and some more unique items. Here they had some larger floor plants. There's a Silver Bay Aglaonema, another Diefenbachia panther, and a rubber tree. So this is the last shop here. There may be more, but I almost missed this one. Lots of good stuff. Money trees, $10. We got cacti, succulents. Some hanging ferns. Also some Hoya compactas, $10, four inch pots, peperomias, bamboos. They also have some Hoya compactas for 18 and hanging baskets, really nice size. Peperomia scandens variegata, nice full basket. Some succulent baskets, also some Syndapsis pictus exoticas and also some Adansonii, Raphidophora hyes, some Sansevieria bird's nest, some other Sansevierias, lots of cute little pots, succulents, jade. This place has some golden pothos and hanging baskets, money trees, snake land, and that's all folks. So today was really fun. I really enjoyed my little trip to the farmer's market. I wasn't expecting so many plant vendors, but I was really surprised. And there were a few of them that really stood out to me. There was a certain kiosk that I was really, really impressed with. They had amazing plants and all of their plants had the names and the prices, which was a plus because something that I did notice is that a lot of the plant vendors didn't have prices on their plants. So now I just wanna show you what I ended up getting. I couldn't believe it. And both of these plants came from that same vendor that I'm talking about that had the kiosk with all those really great plants, great prices, name tags and everything. So, 
let me show you the first one. The first one is this Hoya Croniana Silver Splash. It came in this really nice black ceramic pot for only $17. I could not believe that. $17 for this. It's trailing down. It's so beautiful and healthy. I don't even know if it's coming across on camera the way that it looks in person. It's really beautiful. If you look closely, you see the little speckles or the splashes, the splashes on the leaves. And the fact that it came with this pot also for only $17, I had to get this. Beautiful. Cannot believe I got this plant for $17. And let me show you the next one. The guys, look what I got. Epiprimnum panatum variegata. And it's on a totem pole. I think this is about an eight inch nursery pot. Guys, $29, $29. They also had some other ones in like little ceramic pots. And I think she had some in hanging baskets for like 25 or 27 but i wanted to get a bigger one so i got this one right here and you saw in the video i was trying to decide between this one and a couple other ones the other one had bigger leaves but it didn't have as much variegation as this and this one has a lot of new leaves coming out on the top so i am super super stoked about this So I'm really, really happy with my purchases and I want to give a shout out to all the plant vendors that I visited today. Everyone was so nice, especially Cheryl. She's with Pitcher Plant. I think her Instagram handle is Pitcher Plant. Super nice lady. She's been at Yellow Green Farmer's Market for 12 years and she has a really beautiful booth. Um, also another vendor, her name was holy she sells orchids very nice lady who else did i meet the lady from this booth was also really nice um who else i know i'm probably forgetting someone but oh yeah there was another vendor who actually gave me a plant he gifted me a plant i think it was a lucky bamboo and a really cute ceramic pot and a saucer and i left it there because i was going to go filming and everything and I told him I would come back to get it. Totally forgot to go back by his booth 
to get my plant and to just thank him and everything like that. But that was so sweet of him to give me that plant. But anyway, guys, yeah, I just wanted to share my plant shopping experience at the farmer's market today. It was really fun. And if you live in the South Florida area, I would really recommend that you check out the Yellow Green Farmer's Market. It's in Hollywood, Florida. And I think I put the address in the beginning of this video. Go check out those plant vendors. They're really nice and they have a great variety of plants. And there's also so much other things there to do. There's lots of food and fresh produce. Um, all kinds of handmade um, soaps and all kinds of things there. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share for more plant-related videos. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and take care.